Hello guys, I am Nikhil Lotke and you are watching Support Minia. Today I am going to explain you about how to generate optimized APK before your APK going to Play Store. First of all, why we should create optimized APK? And the reason behind this is in many times end user is not having sufficient internet connectivity and because of which they give up downloading such a huge app from Play Store. Because of which even if your application is super solid built but is of no use if user doesn't download it and browse through it. Another reason is most of the user facing insufficient storage issue. So downloading such a huge app they prefer downloading some another app is of uh, small size from the same category. So to take these parts into consideration as a developer we should make a note of uh, creating a super solid application with the help of minimum size final apk let's quickly start with what all things involved in this apk analyzer is a tool which is available in android studio with the help of which you can analyze your apk size and you can also cross check with the previously built apk so as to track where the current apk size is increased let me show you how you can do it just go back to android studio i am having tnews application over here the same application you will find on play store to analyze your apk you have to first sign create a signed apk how you can create that just go to build and generate signed apk so i am already having a signed apk as well as build apk okay so just quickly go to app inside build folder i am having this apk this is nothing but build apk and uh, my play store apk uh, is deployed over here i have created this apk so to analyze apk just go to build then analyze apk uh, my apk my signed apk is this one which i am going to select this and click on ok and let me show you the if i'll select the debug apk what will happen so build again the analyze apk and i'm going to select my apk from my output folder so this is done okay so as you can see the signed apk and the debug apk is having huge size difference uh, so always prefer to create a signed apk and then try to analyze it as you can see over here uh, class.dex this file if i'll click on this you will find there are many classes many methods and many references involved in this whatever files we are using whatever java files we are use, using into this is comprised into this .dex file in my case uh, if i'll show you com next shape then tnews here are my activities my common methods my models and all the necessary files which i am using for this tnews application so this is nothing but dot dex so here i can uh, if you are using unnecessary uh, code into your file then the file size obviously uh, will increase and as a result the apk dot this uh, classes dot dex uh, file size will get increased so make sure you use a proper code also if i'll explain if i'll tell you here you can see in rest folder uh, here all my resources are comprised into this folder which is of size 635.1 kb so if uh, you are using any uh, unwanted resources as well as unwanted fonts uh, then uh, images then before deleting this before then before creating this final apk you just need to make sure that whatever uh, files extra files or extra fonts you are using you should make to uh, you should remove those things before creating this final apk so basically a download size 2.5 MB over here uh, this 
this is what your actual file size uh, once you download this file from play store move on to next point reduce resource count and size the size of your apk has an impact on how fast your app loads how much memory it uses and how much power it consumes so try to use less resources or reuse the same resources wherever required remove unused resources as i have explained you earlier lean tool will help you to understand unused resources in your project but remember that lean tool does not scan your asset folder as well as library files present inside your project and it does not remove resources without your decision it just alerts you so that you can you need to take a proper action against it so here you can see that uh, that in lockcat i have got this warning the resource layout preference uh, appears to be unused so it's my duty to remove this uh, layout from uh, from layout folder so that it will uh, it will not generate extra size space uh, before deploying the application it's habit of every developer that uh, at the time of ui development for any application wherever extra resources like images or font keeping within the same project as a result at the time of final build generation these are getting counted and gives you huge impact in terms of size so to get rid of this make sure review your code and remove unnecessary assets resources from your project fourth point in bucket add a shrink resources in build.gradle file to use shrink resources you must enable code shrinking during the build process first proguard removes the unused code but leaves unused resources then the gradle removes the unused resources so how to add shrink resources let's go back to android studio you need to go to app then your build.gradle file here you will find the shrink resources true move on to next minimize resource use from libraries when developing an android application you usually use external libraries to improve your application's usability which is the best practice to get rid of developing native code with the help of many other files and assets make use of libraries it's always advisable since most of the third party libraries are tested and optimized in all aspects so we can use the libraries and reuse its uh, resources for some other purpose inside our project next point support only specific densities as there are many densities available like ldpi mdpi sdpi although android supports all these densities but you don't need to export your asset to each and every density as per your requirement put scaled images in appropriate folder this will help you reduce apk size reduce animation frames sometimes to use frame by frame animation we use lot of frames pngs to generate required output but this will cost you more since if you check the size of all the pngs involved in it while creating frame animation then bunch size will be too much and at the time of final apk these pngs android doesn't comprise as a result apk size increases so make sure you should use limited frames to generate respect resulted output crunch png files android asset packaging tool does not shrink png files which are present in asset folder asset android asset packaging tool may inflate png files that have already been compressed to prevent this you can use crunch enabled flag in gradle to disable this process for png files let's go back to android studio so that i can show you where exactly you should add crunch enable flag so build.gradle file is already open so you need to add this crunch enable over here inside android tag another way of cr crunching this png files is to use tinypng.com site to compress your png or jpeg files so what you need to do you just go to browser then type tiny png and then this site will give you exact result of after compression of your respected files so i'll show you how you are quickly 
compress your jpeg file or png file so i am going to uh, drag and drop this jpeg file to this area see the original file size is 886.3 kb after compression it's 196.5 kb so just need to download this and use it inside your project remove unnecessary generated code unnecessary code count is considered in applications classes.dec file at the time of apk generation so if you are using unwanted code and forgot to remove it or remove its instances from your application then the overall size of file taken into consideration during the apk generation so make sure remove unnecessary generated code that's all guys hope you understood what all factors involved while creating optimized apk also don't forget to sh like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much